So hello, and welcome back to Simplify Tech. I hope you are having a great day so far. In this video, we will tell you about the top 5 best over-ear headphones of 2023 that will give you great value and performance. All the headphones that we talk about in this video will be linked down below in the description. If you want to buy any of these, then don't forget to check them out. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. Alright, so our first headphone is going to be the Sony WH-1000XM5. This is the best overall over-ear headphone, and this is the next generation of the Sony WH-1000XM5. 4 wireless headphones. It has a similar design language as the Sony's old model, but there are a couple of slight differences that make it look more refined and sleek than its predecessor. The largest change in design is that there aren't any hinges. The headband is integrated into the ear cups, so the build is just one piece. They're also made of recycled plastic and have a satin finish that looks high-end. These headphones have mediocre portability and a different carrying case than their predecessor, but they feel great overall, have good overall build quality. They're mostly made of acrylonitrile butyl styrene, a material created from recycled plastic, meaning they have a different texture and feel than their predecessor. It has industry-leading noise cancellation. Two processors control eight microphones for unprecedented noise cancellation. With AutoNC Optimizer, noise cancellation is automatic automatically optimized based on your wearing conditions and environment. The Sony WH-1000XM5 has a decently comfortable fit, and it's easy to adjust the headband to fit your head. It has good controls that are responsive and easy to use. Overall, the layout and range of commands are similar to their predecessors. They have a touch-sensitive surface on the right ear cup, and there are two physical buttons on the left ear cup. It can take a couple of swipes to reach the desired volume if you don't want to use the swipe and hold function. It gives you up to 30 hours of battery life with quick charging, and its 30 minutes of charging give you around 3 hours of playback, which is really great. It has a bass-heavy sound profile and has extra thump, rumble, and boom, making these headphones well-suited for genres like EDM and hip-hop. Its multi-point connection allows you to quickly switch between devices and intuitive touch control settings let you pause, play, skip tracks, control volume, activate your voice assistant, and answer phone calls. For everyday convenience, you can just use speak to chat in quick attention mode, which stop your music and let an ambient sound. With instant pause or instant play, music automatically pauses when headphones are taken off and starts again when they are put back on. Specifications, connectivity, wireless, battery life, 30 hours, charging time, 3 hours, weight, 250 grams, pros, graphic EQ and presets, impressive battery life, well-built design, mic has great noise handling, cons, ANC struggles to block out face range noise. If you have a small head, you may not find their fit comfortable. Moving on, our second headphone on the list is the Sennheiser HD800S. This is the best premium over-ear headphone. If you're looking for headphones to enhance your audio experience, the Sennheiser HD800S are the best audiophile over-ear headphones. They have an open back design, allowing audio to leave the ear cup and interact with the space around you. The result is a wide, spacious, and out-of-head passive soundstage to help immerse you in your audio. The Sennheiser HD800S are listening-focused headphones, and it shows in their design. The massive open back ear cups and headband are reinforced with metal and high-grade plastic. They're also both padded with a suede-like material, which makes these headphones look and feel premium. These over-ears have a very neutral sound profile and can reproduce vocals and lead instruments accurately, so they're suitable for different genres. Their open back design means they lack some rumble and punch in the bass range. They have a premium build quality and a very comfortable fit, so you won't feel fatigued when using them for long periods. They also have excellent frequency response consistency, meaning once you achieve a good fit, you won't experience deviations in bass or treble delivery. These headphones have spacious open back ear cups that don't obstruct as much airflow as typical over ears. They will keep your ears relatively cool even during long listening sessions, although they won't be as breathable as some on-ear or in-ear models. The Sennheiser HD800S are big and bulky headphones that don't fold into a more compact format for transport. They're not designed to be portable and will take up a lot of space in a backpack. They would barely fit in a regular handbag. The box they come in can be used as a substitute for a case. These headphones are not designed for use during sports or any physical activity. They easily slide off your ears when running or jumping. The ear cups have a large enough surface area that they will maintain their position during casual listening sessions even when you tilt your head. The cable is also detachable, but it requires a lot of force to remove and may damage the headphones if violently removed, which slightly reduces their stability. Specifications, connectivity, wired, weight, 330 grams, pros, excellent audio reproduction, comfortable design, sturdy, durable build quality, low latency, cons, bulky and heavy. The third headphone on our list is the Bose Quiet Comfort 45. This is the best mid-range over-ear headphone. It has a sleek and minimalist look with a modest print of the company's logo on each ear cup. 
The Bose Quiet Comfort 45 is amazingly comfortable. They feel lightweight and don't clamp onto your head very tightly. The padding on the ear cups and headband also feels better and cushier. These headphones have a fairly portable design. Although they're a bit bulky and take up some space in your bag, they can be folded into a more compact format. You can also lay the ear cups flat so that they take up less space. The case is great. It's made of leatherette and it feels sturdy and solid. The headphones build quality is good. Their adjustable headband is reinforced metal, which makes them feel sturdy. They also have good padding, which feels soft on the skin. The Bose QC45 has great controls. They have three physical buttons that are located on the right ear cup, which are clicky and easy to use. On the left ear cup, there's also an action button that serves as a multi-purpose control. There are volume chimes for when you've reached the minimum and maximum volume, as well as voice prompts when cycling through ANC settings. There are also voice prompts for when you're pairing the headphones. It has around 24 hours of battery life from a single charge. A quick 15-minute charge offers three hours of listening time when you're on the go, or plug in the included audio cable to listen for even longer in wired mode. It also has an EQ that lets you change the levels of bass, mid-range, and treble to your liking or choose from a number of preset options, specifications, connectivity, wireless, battery life, 24 hours, charging time, 2 hours, weight, 240 grams, pros, very comfortable, good build quality, outstanding noise cancelling, wired and wireless playback, cons, little bit bulky, average passive soundstage. Next up on our list is the Beat Studio 3. This is the best budget over-ear headphone. They have the same stylish and polished design as the previous Beat Studio Wireless, but with improved noise cancellation performance. Their audio reproduction and active noise cancellation systems automatically adapt to you and your environment. The Beat Studio 3 Wireless, like many other headphones in Beats lineup, have a sleek look that's available in several understated or flashy colors to suit your preferences. The Beat Studio 3 has decent controls, which are a bit better than their predecessor, the Beat Studio Wireless. The controls are efficient and easy to use. The buttons also provide good tactile feedback, but they're completely flat, so it may be a bit tricky to distinguish when you're first using them. The headphones are very comfortable, the ear cups are well padded, and the pressure is distributed well around your ears. While the headband isn't as cushioned as the ear cups and can feel rigid, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. You should be able to wear them for long listening sessions without feeling too much fatigue. The headphones have mediocre breathability. They're closed back over ears with a decent seal, so they trap a lot of heat, which can make you sweat during moderate physical activity. They should be okay if you're just using them casually to listen to music, though. They won't be ideal for more intense workout routines, although if you want over-ear headphones for the gym, they're a decent option. These headphones have mediocre portability. They fold into a more compact format that's easier to transport with the provided hard case. While they won't fit in a pocket, they can be placed in most small bags, but they're still quite bulky. The Beats Studio 3 Wireless are well-built and sturdy-looking headphones. Their ear cups are made from dense plastic that feels sturdy, while their headband has a tough yet flexible metal frame. They're a bit thinner and less robust than the Beats Executive, and the plastic coating on the headband is prone to scratches and scuffs, but their overall build quality feels high-end and well-made. Specifications, connectivity, wireless, battery life, 22 hours, charging time, 2 hours, weight, 260 grams, pros, comfortable and stable fit, great ANC feature, impressive battery life, graphic EQ and presets available, cons, just okay recording quality. Now moving on to the next headphone in our list, that is the Anchor Soundcore Life Q30. This is the best entry level over ear headphone with a fantastic noise cancelling performance. They have three different noise isolation settings so you can find one that's best suited for the environment around you. They also have an excited, V-shaped sound profile that delivers a heavy thump and boom. The Anchor Q30 looks very similar to the Anchor Soundcore Life Q20 Wireless. They have a simple design with a black satin finish. With this generation, there's a small logo in gold found on both ear cups, which makes it look a little more refined. They also come in midnight blue and Secura pink if you prefer a more colorful look. The Anchor Q30 are comfortable headphones. They feel lightweight and don't clamp too tightly on the head. That said, the headband padding feels thin and could become uncomfortable when worn for long listening sessions. They have average breathability. They cover the entire ear and can trap heat, which can make your ears feel warm. You can also sweat more if you're wearing them for long periods of time or during physical exercise. These headphones have a good control scheme. Only the right ear cup has a touch-sensitive surface, but most of the controls are physical buttons located on the bottom of both ear cups. The Anchor Soundcore Life Q30 has a decent build quality. They're mostly made of plastic and silicone-like materials, which makes them feel sturdy. There's also faux leather padding on the headband and cups, and a metal plate in the headband. Specifications 
connectivity, wireless, battery life, 40 hours, charging time, 2 hours, weight, 265 grams, pros, great ANC for the price, graphic EQ and presets, excellent battery life, comfortable fit and excellent build quality, cons, bass heavy sound profile, leak some audio at high volumes, so you can go for any of the headphones that fit in your budget. They are all great options for the price, and that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, then make sure to subscribe to this channel.